You've lived in your home forever and now you realize it's time to downsize, but you don't know where to start. Don't worry, in this video I'll break down everything so you'll be good to go when you're ready to sell. It's all coming up. Stay tuned. Hi, this is Warren Oberhalser. My channel is all about residential real estate. I'm located in Northern California, San Francisco Bay Area region, and more specifically in the East Bay Tri-Valley area. I cover everything from the latest real estate news and market updates to my city reviews. So if this sounds interesting, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss anything. If you're a senior citizen with a big house on your hands, there's a good chance you're thinking about selling your home and downsizing. It can be challenging to let go of the memories and the accumulated possessions in your home. But if you're feeling pretty overwhelmed by what you have to take care of, it may be a good time to consider downsizing. Preparing to sell a home and get rid of furniture or belongings to make room for fitting in a smaller house is a big process and a big decision to make. How can you make sure you're ready to downsize? How do you know what to sell and what to keep? And most important, who will help you sort through everything and prepare your home so it'll be ready to sell on the market? In this video, I'll help you determine if you're ready to downsize and show share with you how to get started with the process as quickly and as easy as possible. To do this, there are a few basic questions you need to ask yourself to determine if now is the right time for you to downsize. Number one, do you have too much to do? If you're cleaning too many empty rooms or trying to maintain a huge lawn and garden that you just don't use, then you may have too much to do and you should consider downsizing. Number two, do you still host large gatherings? If you're still commonly hosting holiday dinners or other family get togethers, you may not want to downsize. However, if you have a large family and you know somebody in that family can take over the hosting in their own home, then downsizing may be a great option right now. Number three, do you have enough money to maintain your home for the next five to 10 years? Without steady income or with an older home, you may be struggling to maintain mortgage payments and afford to repair maintenance issues. So if you can't afford your home for the next few years, then now may be a good time to start thinking about something else. And number four, do you feel lonely in your home? This is a challenge I see many senior citizens go through. Living on your own for senior citizens can present many challenges and one of them is loneliness. If based on these questions, you think you're ready to downsize, now it's time to start planning for the process. Let's consider the steps you'll wanna to take to start downsizing and preparing your future in a smaller home. If you're living alone now, or if you and your spouse just can't get used to all the empty spaces in your home, you may wanna consider moving to a smaller house or some form of retirement community with more people to engage with. How to prepare for downsizing. As you prepare to downsize, you'll need to keep in mind that things will probably take longer than you you expect. It's crucial that you start as soon as you can so that inevitable delays don't take much toll on your family and financial situation. Here are the main steps you'll follow as you prepare to downsize. Number one, start preparing. The first thing you'll want to do if you're thinking about downsizing is start prepping your home and your belongings. If you have items you already know you don't want to keep, then get rid of them now. If you can, start decluttering and organizing old closets or empty rooms to get a head start on the process. Number two, set your plan. As you consider downsizing, it's important to understand that you, that you have a few different options for what you want to do or where you wanna go after you sell your current home. For example, if you wanna stay in your current home but can't afford to do so, you could consider a reverse mortgage, which allows you to convert your equity, this is the amount you paid into your mortgage, into a loan. Your lender will pay you monthly out of the equity you've accumulated over the years and take interest out of the payments instead of any more mortgage payments. Please note, to be properly advised on this, it is best you consult with a CPA, financial advisor, and a loan agent who specializes in reverse mortgages. If, however, you definitely wanna move, you'll need to know where you're going to move to. Possible options can be move to a smaller home near your children, or you could move to a retirement community with a smaller house and cheaper payments. If there's health issues, you might consider moving to a senior center facility where they offer health services on site. Interesting, each of these options can be great for one party or one person and not so good for another. Therefore, it's up to you and your family to determine what your finances, health, and personal desires will allow. Number three, speak with professionals. One of the best places to start on the downsizing process is to speak to a real estate agent who has experience 
with working with downsizing clients. With professional guidance, you can determine a fairly accurate timeline for how long the downsizing and moving process will take. A real estate agent will also be able to help you figure out how much you can sell your house for, what items you may want to keep, what you may want to get rid of, and what repairs you need to make to your home before putting it on the market. It's also important that you determine if there's any liens attached to your house and if there's any major maintenance issues before you get it ready to sell, such as Section 1 items found on a termite report or foundation problems found on the home inspection. Most real estate agents can connect you with professional movers and cleaners as well. These people can help you prepare your home for sale and get moved out quickly without you and your family having to do the work by themselves. Number four, set up your new floor plan. Before you start packing, Photograph the room that you like the way it's set up. This way, when you move to your new home, you can duplicate the same layout. Obviously, the floor plan will be a bit different, but if you know what it's going to be ahead of time, you can easily decide where you want things to go before you get there. This will save you time and stress. Number five, select what to keep. Now that you know where you're going and what your new home will look like, it's time to start packing. If you're like most seniors, you're probably going to need to get rid of a lot of things, furniture, mementos, and even things like duplicate kitchen items. It can be incredibly challenging to decide what stays and what goes. Don't be afraid to take lots of pictures of items you don't need or use, but still love. You'll find photos will help you remember the items without having to keep them and increase the clutter of your home. Once you've decided on what you're gonna keep and what's gonna go, you'll need to figure out how to get rid of the items you no longer want. To handle this, start with a donation pile, then plan on a garage or yard sale. One of the things that's been most helpful with my clients who are going through this process is to just reach out to family members, extended family members and say, hey, look, all of these items here I no longer have use for, I would like to get rid of. Are, are you interested? Please, if so, please let me know when you can come and take them away. And number six, start the moving process. Now you've gotten rid of anything you don't need, you've packed away your items you're going to keep, and with the help of your realtor, you've sold your home. It's now time to move. Before you get going, make sure you have all the needed items such as clothing, hygiene items, extra bedding, food, cooking supplies, and most important, any medicine needed in an easy, accessible bag. This way it's available for you while you're unpacking. You'll also want to store important documents such as medical records, passports, birth certificates, etc. in a place that's easily accessed throughout the move. You never know when you may need them and I've had clients call me up and say, I still haven't unpacked, but I need these documents or I need this because, you know, starting the new cable, I have to have this document that shows we purchased the home. So make sure they're available to you as a realtor. There's many things we provide for you. A lot of these things now are all digital. So we be able to email that to you, but just make sure you have them when they're needed. Okay, we just completed the six steps for downsizing. We now need to discuss how can you find a realtor to help you with this process. As you're probably aware by now, anytime you buy or sell a home, there's a lot going into this process. If you're not sure where to start, finding a realtor who has experience with senior downsizing is a good place to begin. The reason being, there's a lot of steps that go on that are additional to just selling a home you've lived in for maybe two to five years. It starts with filling out the seller's disclosures, then assessing your home to see if there's any repairs needed. This means the realtor is going to need to order inspections. This would be the termite, home, and roof inspection. If repairs are needed, the realtor should have a contractor to assist you with these. One of the big parts of selling a home where a couple or a person's lived in the house for at least a couple of decades is getting rid of all the stuff. And that's the stuff that they know they can't take with them. I've had houses where the uh, homeowner was a car collector and he had 15 vehicles. This is the one that I closed in Livermore last year. It took the estate sale close to a month to first sell the regular items that you would in an estate sale and then to go and get all of the specialty type of people, which would be car collectors and then junk collectors. And then after that, it was just a process of getting rid of all the debris. A big part of this is hazardous material. You don't realize all the solvents, oils, uh, things that may have value 
but they've been kept for so long are called hazardous materials that you can't even transport to a facility because there's so many of them. So you have to find a service that will actually come and take that away. Now, I wanna go back to inspections and repairs. If you've been in your house for, and I said 20 years, let's say it's been even 40 years, most likely you're gonna have some issues with section one. That's whether it's termites or damage to the wood. Uh, it's called wood rot. There could also be foundation problems. And just in general, the house is outdated as far as codes. Even if the items are serviceable, meaning they work, but they're so outdated, it's recommended in all the inspections that they be replaced or repaired. If the fees are so high for this, it may not be worth repairing these items, taking that time, taking all the additional expense, and then putting it on the market. So what I recommend, and I've said this in other videos, is find out what the comps are in your area and what the repairs are, adjust the house, the value down to reflect those repairs. So if the house is priced right, even with repairs, it should attract buyers. And the last item I wanna talk about when it comes to downsizing, especially for senior citizens, it is a process. Some of these have taken two years from the time I've signed the listing agreement and all of the steps we have to take. It's not easy. You've been in your home for years, you're dealing with, um, there's a lot of emotion. They're also dealing with other family members who may want to buy the home outright, and you can offer that to them. And that's important that you go through and look at all these steps and stages before you make that final one, which is put the home on the market, because that is a final step. And you want to make sure that you've looked at everything thoroughly and you are now ready to move to the next step. Uh, step in your life. So that wraps up this video on downsizing for senior citizens. If there's something you'd like to know more about, please reach out to me personally. I'm available by either phone, email, or text. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up, post any questions or comments you may have down below. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider doing so, so you don't miss anything. If you found this video was interesting, make sure you watch this next one on probate, because I go into a lot more details on the legal aspect of selling a home through the probate process. So stay tuned. I'll have more helpful videos like this coming soon. Please reach out to me for any questions you may have. And I wish you all the best on your home journey.